Hello doers and welcome back. Ready for some more VOIP? VOIP or VoIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol, a phone system that uses an internet connection to make and receive calls instead of using traditional boomer landlines. Any device enabled with VOIP technology can become a VOIP phone, which means you can make calls from a computer, smartphone, tablet, Samsung fridge, anything with internet. You only need an internet connection to start making calls. At the office, at home, in your thoughts, you name it. Now here at Stealthywood, our team uses Odoo VOIP's widget to make and receive those calls, and we've noticed many benefits. Our operating costs for VOIP are significantly lower than traditional phone companies, and we can even use devices we already own. And now our processes are streamlined and our employees can connect from anywhere in the world. I'll be showing you how to configure everything through a provider called Axivox as an example, but your screen may look a bit different if you're using another provider. A provider is a company that hosts VOIP servers, which contain programming to configure the virtual circuitry of the phone lines. Odoo does not host these services, and a provider must be secured to integrate VOIP with your database. Odoo integrates well with Axivox, which you'll see in the series of tutorials. However, it should be noted that Odoo also integrates well with Asterisk and on SIP VOIP providers, or on SIP, depending on how you pronounce it. All right, enough chit chat, let's get going. All right, Adoer, so first make sure you have the VOIP module installed. You should see a phone icon appear in the top corner of your screen if you have it installed. Also, to use this service, please contact axivox.com or another provider to open an account and make sure that the chosen provider covers your area and the areas you'd like to call. All right, if I click into the settings app and general settings, we're gonna scroll over here to integrations. I'm gonna see the VOIP section that I want. Underneath PBX server IP or ONSIP domain, I need to set the domain for my account created by Axivox. Now, you can actually find this inside of the admin portal, and we're going to swap over there. And I'm going to go over here to users in there. I'm going to click on my username, and we're going to click on the identifiers tab. And please copy from the domain field. Now, once that we have that, we're going to switch back to the settings page and make sure it's pasted under the domain section right here. Once you do that, we're good to go, great. All right, up next under WebSocket, I need to make sure that it reads what you see on the screen right now. Now you can find this inside of your own VOIP documentation if you wanna copy and paste it as well. This is mine. Now we also have server-specific documentation for the asterisk and onsip providers. For the VOIP environment, I'm going to select production. And finally, we're gonna hit save. Don't worry, we're almost at the end. Now I wanna configure my Odoo user form with my VOIP credentials. Now to configure that, I'm gonna scroll up to users, click on manage users, and I'm gonna click my name. If you haven't set up users, by the way, and this is important, be sure to check out our manage your users video. In my case, I'm gonna choose the preferences tab and scroll down to the VOIP section. All right, for the username and extension number, I'm gonna to have to switch back over to the Axibox portal and I need to make a note of that over here, underneath users, and there we have it. And this is important. I also need to know the SIP password, the SIP password. So I'm gonna actually copy that again and jump back to the Odoo configuration. All right, now I'll go ahead and make sure the SIP, or SIP, username value from Axivox is filled in over here. All right, now that we're done over there, we're good to go. And then finally, I need to make sure that the SIP password value is pasted in the VOIP secret field over here. Then once that that's all done, we're gonna manually save and presto, we're configured. Sorry about that. All right, we're almost done fully with this tutorial. Now let's go back to the main dashboard over here and we're gonna click on the phone icon. Now the VOIP widget pops up in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. And now I can make sure that I can receive and make phone calls, awesome. Now we're gonna run it through some other stuff and just so that I could show you what we could do here. Under the recent tab, I could see a log of all my recent calls. Under next activities, I can see any activities assigned to me for a particular date. And in my case, if I click on Bob's opportunity, I can click the phone icon at the lower right and boom, you guessed it, I can call him. I can also send an email over here. I can open up his customer record, view the related leads and opportunities, and schedule another activity. There's a lot of stuff that we could do with all of this. And I can even mark this activity I have open as being done. Or I can edit or cancel this as well. And isn't that cool? Now, 
Once that I call Bob and mark this activity as done, and clip back to my activities over here on VOIP, his name disappears from my to-do list, thereby telling me we're done for today. Now every activity that appears inside of the VOIP widget is a specific call activity made by the user. Over here under contacts, I can see a list of my contacts in Odoo that I can easily click over here and make a quick call to. I can also use the search feature up here inside of this widget to pull someone up quickly. And finally, I can actually click on the keypad at the lower left to manually make calls. Now when you make calls this way, be sure to first type in the plus sign followed by the international country code. For example, our freedom over here, freedom country is plus one for the USA. And then you wanna type all the numbers that you wanna call and click the green phone button and you're ready to go. Now, if you receive a phone call, Oda will ring and display a notification, just like that from a cell phone. And that's it for this video. Be sure to check out our other VOIP lessons to learn more. Until next time, Odoers, let's set some stuff up together.